I'm still shocked to be sick again, but how do I get high vibe when I feel so sick? Speaking of being here now, I prefer to be hanging with the angels, by the way, but my body is currently in a state that is very undesirable. Let's go back to our lesson in which we talked about the three separate systems of the Trinity human, and that those systems are the mind, the body, and the spirit. Remember how I said that anything you do in one of the systems will impact the other system. For example, if you find yourself in a state of sickness, that's going to ultimately impact your state of mind. You're going to become depressed or you're going to, you're going to feel frustrated. You're shocked here that you're sick again. And then that response in your mind is going to spill over into your spirit. You're going to be maybe less likely to meditate, maybe less likely to praise or to be happy or to be joyful or to be high vibe. And this is going to flow right back into the body and perhaps exacerbate the issue. But just as these deficits in systems have a reverberating effect in the other systems, so too does any positive change made within any system have a positive reverberate rever rever spirit. Sorry, when I get going, I start stuttering. Many of you know this. So too, does any positive change made in any system have a reverberating effect in the other system? So if your physical body is ill right now, that's okay. We don't judge that. We don't fall into judgment of what the body is doing right now because the body is doing the very best that it can. Can we trust the body enough to say that? Of course we can. And because we can't work in the body to the degree that we'd like to right now because we're sick, let's choose to work in the spirit. Let's choose to work in the mind. Affirmations, validations, prayer, meditation, relationship review, all these other things that we could be doing will have a positive impact on the physical body. Doing those things, focusing on areas in those systems will actually give you a better chance to kick out of this illness and to bring the physical body back into a state of alignment. That's my recommendation to you. Work in the other systems and work in the system of the body where you can. You can still eat nutritious foods, right? You can still drink water and all that. So do those things. And anything positive you do to turn that dial is going to affect the whole of who you are. Having said that, sickness can be a karmic lesson. I'm not speaking that on you. I'm not saying that's what... I'm not reading you. We don't do that, by the way. We don't read people without permission. I'm not reading you. But I can say that sickness and suffering in certain ways can be a karmic lesson. When I say karmic, I am not speaking in terms of the Eastern understanding of karmic, uh, karma or karmic or karmic wheel. I don't subscribe to that philosophy or way of thinking. I am that I am. I'm not tied to a wheel, y'all. <laughs> I'm not tied to a wheel. And I can be refined by fire in an instant by bringing in the light. I don't have to be a slave to patterns and things. I believe that. But I do think that many of us agree upon entering the life that we will experience certain things. Well, I know we do, but some of us actually agree to experience sickness during seasons of our lives. The wrong way to react to that is to get frustrated and upset. The right way to react to that is to be with it. Abide with it. Be here now because it's teaching you something. It's teaching you something. What's it teaching you? This too is its own kind of offering. And some of us have entire lives where we are sick or we have a malady or we have a deficit, we have a dysfunction and we're just not going to clear it. And we can spend that life railing against the reality of that and feeling, why me? or chasing remedies and chasing new things so that we can get out of the condition that we're in. Chasing hard energy, railing hard energy. Hard energy is low vibration. Instead, maybe we just be with it. Your body is this way for a reason, why? Maybe through examining the sickness, we get to the shadow. Anything appearing in the physical reality to include the physical body must first be created in the energy. Maybe something energetic exists inside of you that you haven't looked at yet. And the body is signaling you, hey, 
We are out of alignment because this thing is existing within you. But if you're spending your time being pissed off because you're, you're sick, or if you're spending your time being upset that you're sick and shocked that you're sick, I'm not saying you're doing this all the time, but if that's where you're going with the sickness, then you're losing the beautiful lesson of it. Truly, you're, you're losing the beautiful lesson of it. And so be here now. We abide with the flow of life as it presents itself to us. We abide with the flow of life as it offers itself to us. Always an invitation to go deeper and higher and to know ourselves more completely, even in sickness, even in suffering. This is always the offering. And in the meantime, as we're going through this lesson and learning, we are also working in the systems. Work in your spirit, girl. Work in your mind. And work in the areas of the body that you can tweak and turn that dial. Thank you.